Hello friends, welcome to AI Flux. So today someone claimed that they were able to actually beat GPT-4 on human eval with a fine-tuned version of Code Llama 34B. And what you're looking at right now is actually a video of a friend of mine who managed to run the Code Llama 34B model across four RTX 3090s and managed to get pretty crazy performance. Now he wasn't planning on beating GPT-4, but it shows that with a few GPUs locally, you can actually run this in a way that's just about as fast as GPT-4 is in the interface provided by OpenAI. So what actually happened? Why are they claiming this and who's claiming this? So the group that claims to have achieved this beating GPT-4 in coding with Code Llama 34B is a team behind a product called Find. And this is actually something I hadn't heard of before. So it's an AI search engine and pair programmer. So their core focus is programming and it makes sense why they would make these claims because it's something they clearly know something about. And basically what they claim is that with their internal fine data set, which they claim to be a better representation of what programmers actually do and how they interact with a lot of these models, they've managed to fine tune Code Llama 34B and managed to achieve 67.6% and 69.5% passes on human eval. Now they reference GPT-4 here only achieving 67% according to their official technical report in March. Obviously that was in March, so a lot has happened since then. And there are a few questions they kind of approach here, but let's get into it. So specifically, they get into kind of where they fine tune this and what they focused on. So specifically, they focused on programming questions and solutions, which curiously is an approach that's very, very similar to what Meta claimed they did with their Code Llama instruct model, which is more uh, intended to provide instruction in coding with code provided, but not just code. And curiously, I mean, Find's pro core product literally is that. So. It's really interesting to see someone approaching a very similar problem to Meta, um, arguably being a much smaller company. You'd think that Meta, with all of the brain power they have there, would be able to create something that's much more powerful. But curiously here, they also talk about hardware, which I really love to get into. And they say here that we've fine-tuned both models in our proprietary data sets that they mentioned again, around 80,000 know, high-quality programming solutions and questions. Um, they say, instead of code completion examples, this data set features instruction answer pairs, which is, in my opinion, the key difference between them and how Meta trained Code Llama Instruct. They say explicitly, I'm setting it apart structurally from human eval. We trained fine models over two epochs over a total of 160,000 examples. LoRa was not used, which is a really important thing to mention here. Check out our video on what LoRa's are if you're curious about that. Um, both models underwent a native fine tuning which I wonder, they, they don't really define what this is, but um, they say we employed Deep Speed 03 and Flash Extension 2 to train these models in three hours. These are wildly cool tools. You should definitely check them out if you're doing any direct work with these, which granted, I don't cover a lot of this channel, but definitely check them out. And the coolest thing of all this, getting to the hardware, is they only use 32 A100 80 gig GPUs. So this is, these are expensive GPUs, but honestly, this is a pretty reasonable amount of money. Um, they don't mention how long they do mention the sequence length of 4096 tokens. But um, yeah, this was probably like a ten dollars to $20,000 run, which in terms of today with what runs look like, that's not bad at all. They say here that uh, for each evaluation example, we randomly sampled three substrings of 50 characters. Um, this is maybe what they meant by their native fine tuning. Um, there are also some really curious insights here. And what's really cool is they've released both of these models in Hucking Face right away, so you can try them on your own and actually uh, scrutinize their claims here. I do have a few qualms with their approach here. So the first of these is we don't actually know what quants or quantization they actually ran with this. I would like to think that they were probably running between four bit and six bit quantizations, but we don't really know. Um, my understanding of this, I'm talking to my friend who has worked on some of this directly, is that 3090s generally do best with 4-bit, which is kind of interesting. Um, and Perplexity is a very similar tool to this as well. And uh, Perplexity is publicly known to prioritize FB16 performance, which is kind of an interesting quirk. Now, there's a question here as to where they got this 67.6% .6 number. And they do link directly to where this actually happened. Um, they mentioned that this um, official technical report in March from OpenAI. Now what's interesting is in March of you know, this year when this happened, you actually couldn't provide GPT-4 via the API. And what's curious is that GPT-4 as served as an API 
actually can hit up to 85% on human, on human eval as compared to 69.5% here. And my substantiation for this is this tweet from uh, Amon Sanger, which uh, this is from, yeah, this is also from March 2023, where he's claiming that, yeah, if you, for some reason, if you run GPT-4 as an API, you actually get far better performance than the native uh, web interface, which is kind of interesting, but there are some specific reasons for this. And the specific reasons have to do with something called RLHF, which is basically a way to push human feedback back into models in theory to improve them. And a big point of contention and debate with these models is that people have actually tried to game or extract some of the questions used by human eval and then trained on them to actually improve them. Uh, Meta shamelessly and very openly did this with uh, Code Llama when they said that the only reason they optimized the Python version and that they have a deliberate Python fine tune is because all of human eval is basically in Python. So people kind of suspect that uh, it's likely that uh, RLHF data was leaked from human eval into GPT-4. It's just, it's weird to see this, you know, such a massive bump like this, right? And um, in some ways, in, that would also cause degradation. But um, for me, it just seems unlikely that GPT-4's coding abilities have improved since March that drastically. And the key is that the 85% number is just coming from this tweet. Uh, so that's an unofficial number. It's been reproduced a few times, but it's hard to say that that's actually reproducible among all availability zones and when someone is using uh, GPT-4 at times of high utilization. Some would also argue that um, GPT-4's practical coding abilities are now about 100 times better than it was in March. Like most of this is just because there's um, the capability for the model to run code and actually view feedback in uh, code interpreter, which you couldn't do in March, obviously. Yeah, I mean, generally speaking, there aren't huge examples of degradation. So ignoring concerns of GPT-4 having to suffer kind of a penalty of human eval leaking in, I think generally we'd have to pretend that it's the original GPT-4 release from March until GPT-5 comes out. But right now it looks like in a few narrow areas, the find team actually has managed to beat GPT-4 and this is exciting for a whole number of reasons because it's a new kind of meaning of what compute can actually buy. This is a model anyone can use and it didn't come from a team at a massive tech company. I mean, obviously these guys have money since they can just rent 32 A100s out of the gate, but it's incredibly cool to see sort of the wild turn that no one saw even a few months ago in that coding models that are the most capable are coming from individuals and small companies, not these massive tech giants. So as always, um, I hope you learned something. If you really like our content, please like, subscribe, and share. Check out our vast AI code below to run your own projects on extremely fast GPUs for incredibly low prices, um, probably cheaper than what uh, Find paid to train this entire model. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video.